first episode of a series of creation kit tutorials. I wanted to create these simply because I, do, I can't find a good list of tutorials for Skyrim uh, creation kit so I decided I may as well try and create something which is easy to follow in short little videos so let's get on to it. Uh, first of all you want to own Skyrim if you want to use the creation kit otherwise how can you create Skyrim mods without the actual game so uh, buy it. most people buy it for Steam so that's what this is going to be focused on but I'm sure you can I'm pretty sure Steam's the only way to get the game so yeah install Steam and then buy the game through the store if you don't already but let's assume you already have it okay so Skyrim should be installed scroll down to E in your list of games and install it this has already been installed in this PC so it should be fine so in order to get the creation kit, the easiest way is to go to this tab here where it says games. So click this and go to tools. Scroll down until you find the letter S. It is in alphabetical order. So let's scroll down. Skyrim creation kit is right here. So double click it. And next. In terms of services, you might want to read these. <laughs> it is recommended you do, but Let's be honest, well, you're not going to read them, are you? No, you're not. So hit <laughs> agree. Uh, and then hit finish. And it should take two seconds, depending on your internet speed. And once that's done, double click Skyrim Creation Kit. Say yes to whatever the operating system is asking you to do. So once you've done that, Skyrim Creation Kit should launch. And here it is. With your object window, render window and cell view. This is exactly what you should be seeing. Take note that, are, that there are no objects or anything in the game at the moment because no master file has been loaded. Uh, we will be going into depth into that in a later video, so look forward to that. So let me know if you want me to do these in the future, if you're interested in Skyrim. Uh, I know most of you will want uh, Fallout 4 GEC tutorials, those will come out once the dev tools are actually launched because they aren't available at this moment in time since Todd Howard's a bit of a uh, it's a bit of a liar so <laughs> so after that comes out we'll be doing videos on that so as I said let me know if you want me to do more of these Skyrim tutorials in the comments so thanks for watching and I will catch you later goodbye